Welcome back to our series on introductory statistics. I'm Mark Ledbetter and this is lecture video number 12 and we're going to uh, talk about percentiles, quartiles, and the five number summary in this video today. Let's start with percentiles, the pth percentile. The pth percentile of a distribution is a value such that p percent of the data fall below that value. And so 100 minus p percent of the data fall at or above that value. Let's do a quick example. If you are in the 89th percentile of math scores, what percentage of students have scores first that are below yours? Well, that's the 89 percent. How about above yours? That's going to be 100 minus 89 percent equals 11 percent. Good. So I hope you can remember that. Definitely write that down in your notes. Why is there no 100th percentile? Why is there no 0th, per, 0th percentile? Because you, uh, any person who takes, let's say, the test is part of 100%. So 100% can't be below that person's score because that person is part of the 100%, and that is why we don't have a 100th percentile. And uh, we don't really need a 0th percentile because only one uh, value would be at the 0th percentile, so we start at 1. All right. Now, let's talk about quartiles. So if I have a quarter, it's a quarter dollar, a quarter, that's going to be 0.25 dollars, which is 25 cents, which is 25% of a dollar. And two quarters, 50%. Three quarters, uh, 75 cents or 75%. So that's what our quartiles, they sound like quarter, doesn't it? So quartiles, so the Q1 or the first quartile is the 25th percentile. This is the first quartile. This is the second quartile. And this is the third quartile. Now, if this is the 50th percentile, that means half the data is below this value. What's another name for this value? It turns out that it's the median. So Q2 is also a name for the median. So how do we do this? Our procedure is we first put the data in order from smallest to largest. Then we find the median. Remember that we can find the median of um, one, two, four, six. This is an even, well, let's put a few more, eight, nine. So this is an even number of values. And I can number these, one, two, three, four, five, six. This would be my label. And this would be X, my, my data. And then n is going to be 6, and so I could take n plus 1 over 2, which is 6 plus 1 over 2, or 7 over 2, which is 3.5, and it's going to be the average of these two, the third and the fourth values. So 4 plus 6 divided by 2, but you probably know that already, halfway in between that's going to be 5. That's going to be Q2 of this. But what if I have an odd number of values? Oh, the other way you can do this is you can mark off one at a time until you're either left with one or two values. If you're left with two values, you average them. If you're left with one, then that one value is your median. Let's do another one. One, three, five, six, seven. And so this is n equals five. And so I mark off this one and then this one. And five is my median. Okay. After we find Q2, then we're going to take all the values that are below but not equal to the median, so to the left. And we're going to find the median of that, and that's going to be Q1. Then we're going to find the median of the values that are above Q2, and that value will be Q3. So let's take a look at this. 
here we have an example, and we have 22 values. I'll go ahead and number these, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Now, the easiest way to find this, again, the location. Remember, this is the location. It's not the median. It's the location of the median. There's 22 values. So 22 plus 1 is 23. I divide by 2. I get 11 and a half. So here's the 11th, here's the 12th, I need halfway in there, that's 209 plus 234 divided by 2. Now that is 243 divided by 2, and that's going to be 121.5. So this is going to be 121.5, okay? So that's Q2. We found that first. Now we're going to find Q1. And you'll see why I didn't number these permanently, uh, because I, uh, I'm going to number them differently when I start the uh, upper ones. Okay, so I now have 120, or yeah, so um, that was, I didn't do this right. This is 4, right? 443, so this is going to be 221. That makes more sense. Okay. So this value is going to be 221.5. Sorry about my math error there. Okay, so 221.5 is the median. I'm going to take all the values less than the median. That's the first 11 values. And now I'm going to find the median of that. So n plus 1, I'm going to say n star plus 1 over 2. And that's going to be 11 plus 1 over 2, which is 12 over 2, which is 6. So this is an odd number of values below the median. So number 6 is going to be the um, median, or the median of that value, which is Q1. So 182 is my first quartile. Now, I count the values above that. That's going to include 12. I'm going to renumber that as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Again, n star star is uh, 11 plus 1 over 2. So 11 plus 1 over 2 is still 6. So 319, the sixth value, 319 is going to be Q3. Now let's talk about the five number summary. You say, what, what, what are we doing here? Well, we're getting ready to plot something so we can see the shape of the data. We use percentiles and quartiles in a box plot, which we'll learn in the next video, to plot values when we don't know if they are normally distributed or not. So this is another way to, um, and even if they are normally distributed, we can still do this, okay? But uh, this doesn't require any uh, distribution assumptions, and we'll learn about those later. So we're going to use the minimum or lowest value. We're going to do, use Q1, Q2, Q3, and the maximum value. So let's do that for our data set up above. The minimum value, if you put them in order, the minimum value is going to be the first one. That's 111. Q1 is going to be, um, we've, we've got that as 182. Q2, we did that as 221.5. And Q3, we said was 319. And the maximum is going to be 439. Or the maximum or highest value, whichever you want to call it, is fine. Okay. So that was, um, so we just did that. That's going to be 111, 182. 221.5, 319, and 439. All right, so remember to scan in your lecture notes and put them in the Google Drive shared with you for this class before midnight on the due date listed on the course calendar. Okay. Um, you may want to update your formula sheet for this, and uh, definitely I would with the, um, some information about the quartiles and maybe remind yourself about the median and um, if you have any questions come to the virtual office hours if you absolutely can't make those then by all means email me I am happy to help you and we will see you next time